here today to show you the installation and the operation of our new compliant rifle lock. First off, in packaging, gonna have a couple of different pieces in here. I'm gonna run through what exactly the titles of each of these pieces are. Then we're gonna go through the removal of your current device and then the installation of our new device. First off, you're gonna have your main uh, housing and dog leg, which are located right here. Next, you're gonna have a magnetic field stripping tool from Super Tool. That helps with the operation of the removal of the dog leg when you're outside of the state or in an emergency. Next, we're gonna have the O-ring. This O-ring is going to be the last thing you're gonna install that helps seat the product well. Uh, aside from that also, it's gonna help you uh, decrease any scratching or damage that happens to your firearm from the operation of the lock. Next, you're gonna have uh, your internal uh, uh, magazine uh, catch spring. Now that spring is provided. Uh, you don't have to use this spring. If you ha currently have one in your rifle, you could definitely use that one. The piece that you are gonna need that's currently on your rifle is right here. This is your magazine catch bar. Right there, you're gonna have to uh, still use that, so don't do uh, anything with that when you remove it. Okay, first off, you're gonna take uh, your current device and you're going to remove it. Depending on what you have, you're either going to have a bullet button, a magazine release button, or another competitor's product of a locking device is compliant in California. The removal of each of those is going to vary. So please check with your manufacturer's suggested removal and follow those instructions in order to remove it. Okay, now that we've removed your current device and you're ready to install the new compliant rifle lock from SuperTool, uh, you're going to use your magazine catch, uh, which is right here. So this is the piece that you need to keep, that you need for installation of our new product. The nice thing about the compliant rifle lock from SuperTool, it utilizes all your stock AR-15 parts. The only thing you're replacing is the, uh, the end piece or the magazine uh, release, which is right here. First step, you're going to take your magazine catch. What you're going to do is you're going to feed it through the other side of the rifle, which is right here. Put it through this hole and seat it. Next, you're going to take our magazine uh, retention spring, catch spring, and you're going to stick it in there like that. Next, you're going to take the main housing of the compliant lock. Now, it's very important to put the direction in the, in the, the correct direction, uh, which is uh, placing it here like this and it's uh, facing in the 11 o'clock position, like this. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna press in as far as you can press in with the compliant lock. And as you can see, because of the dog leg, you need to be able to remove the upper from the lower. Like this, in order to seat the product properly. It's also important to remove the dog leg. So you have the compliant lock right here. Take your super tool, put it on top, and you're gonna remove the dog leg such as that. This last piece is your main housing. This is what you're gonna install. Now what you're gonna do is press on here, seat it all the way in, spiral your magazine catch from the other side, and screw in like this. Keep screwing in until you can't screw in anymore. Now what I'm gonna do, we're gonna show you a different angle of installing this so you can see what I'm doing on the other side of the rifle. Okay, now that we've flipped the rifle around, I wanna show you that same step I'm gonna repeat the steps so that you could see from a different angle what I'm doing. First off, you're gonna push in your main housing, which I'm doing so from the other side. Uh, your ma magazine catch is gonna be very loose. You're gonna screw it in. You're gonna turn it in a clockwise manner, such as this, until you cannot turn it anymore, okay? So we, we've come to the end of it. You wanna feed it back in and let it go. Okay, next, uh, we are going to install the dog leg. The dog leg is right here. We have a little internal ghost pin. It's spring-loaded, as you can see, you can push it in. What you wanna do is hold in that pin right there, feed it into the hole, 
and rotate until you feel it lock. Once it locks, you're ready to perform a function check. So you want to close your, uh, your receiver, secure your takedown pin, insert a magazine. Now, the function check is very important. If your magazine is able to release without opening the action, then this is not a compliant rifle lock. It's very important that this functions properly. So the first thing we're going to do is check to see. So that was done on purpose. The magazine did release with the compliant lock installed. And the reason why I'm showing you that is because it's very important to screw in the compliant lock or the magazine catch from the other side all the way. So when you perform your function check, if the magazine drops, like I said, that was done on purpose in order to show you how to fix that issue. I've once again turned around the rifle so that you could see the final spin or how to fix the issue of the magazine dropping. You want to take your magazine catch, push in your main housing all the way, spin your magazine catch. Uh, and so it got caught on the bolt release. What you want to do is push in the end of the bolt release like this so you can get past one turn. You want to go an additional turn. It's going to look like you cannot go any farther, but if you pull your bolt release forward, you move your magazine catch forward such as there, then you push it back, you are able to get it around one final turn just like that. Now your compliant rifle lock is properly installed. Again, we're gonna perform a function check. First, insert a magazine. Next, we're gonna test whether or not the compliant lock is installed properly by pressing on the housing. No matter how hard I press here, the magazine does not release. This is a proper installation. This is compliant. Now that you've successfully performed a function check, you're going to do the final step of the installation process, which is the installation of the rubber O-ring. First, you want to remove the dog leg. Take your magnetic field stripping tool from Super Tool, remove the dog leg. Take your rubber O-ring, and you're going to secure it over the entire main housing until it's seated. This is going to stop the magazine catch from falling out the other side. It also protects your firearm from any scratching or damage. Once again, here's the dog leg. Install it, twist it until it locks. We're done. Your rifle is now compliant. Now that we've successfully installed the compliant rifle lock from SuperTool, we're going to run you through its special operation. The reason why we have a patent on this product is because it's convertible. We have the only convertible rifle lock that is on the market currently. And uh, we're going to run you through the operation of this. If you do leave this, the state, your home state, that requires this type of lock, this is how you return your rifle's uh, function back to, to its original state. What you're going to do is you're going to release your back takedown pin. You're going to open your receiver. You're going to take your magnetic uh, field stripping tool uh, that's provided inside of your kit, place it on top of the main housing, such as there, and you're going to remove uh, the dog leg. Once you close the action, you insert a magazine. You have a standard magazine release button uh, back again. This is why our product is convertible. Now, don't forget, while inside of a state that requires this type of lock, you always have to have the dog leg secured, installed, such as there. As you can see, I cannot release the magazine once the dog leg is installed. 